Honorable President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces in Waiting, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar, Grand Commander of the Order of Niger. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees and former Senate President, Senator Adolphus Wawara, PhD, Grand Commander of the Order of Niger. All of the members of the National Working Committee here present, former ministers, former governors, former party national officers, former leaders in every respect, and those who are still currently in the National Assembly, great members of the People's Democratic Party, you're welcome this afternoon to this media event. As you are very much aware, but for emphasis, we are here, and I'm not preempting the test of this conference. We are here following the February 25th presidential election, which we can all describe as a charade. Let me humbly therefore welcome to the microphone the acting national chairman who will read the test of this press briefing tagged, Let's Keep Hope Alive. Let's keep hope alive. National Chairman, sir. Your Excellency, our presidential candidate, with the hope and the grace of Almighty, like she said, we have to keep hope alive. The President, inshallah, will continue to pursue. Our BOT chairman, Senator Wabara, members of NWC, distinguished Senator Abdul Nengi, Senator Ben Obi, our former National Secretary, His Excellency, Olagunso Yolila, our former Governor, Achike Odenwa, former ministers here present. Our, you see, that's why I ask you to come to high table. Our governor in waiting, uh, Dino Malai, <laughs> members of People's Democratic Party here present, ladies and gentlemen. The long-awaited judgment of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, which came up yesterday, left lovers of democracy in and outside the shores of Nigeria more confused. Perplexed with lots of questions as to whether the Nigerian Constitution, Electoral Act, and other laws guiding the conduct of credible election in our dear country are still functional. Close observation from these spaces of Nigerians in all nooks and crannies spell hopelessness and despair since the pronouncing, pronouncement of the judgment yesterday. Lawyers, politicians, and other relevant stakeholders from all devices were also left more confused and pretty as both law and facts were visibly thrown overboard. However, as law-abiding political party, we received the judgment with shock along with other Nigerians and friends of Nigeria. We we'll therefore, we must not withstand the burden of cost and general inconvenience these issues must be settled, for what is at stake is beyond personal gains. It is to force pronouncement on some of these unacceptable ethical issues for the love of the country and its future generation. I also call on members not to lose focus and be distracted the NWC is doing everything possible to keep this party together so that we will give this government a credible opposition. And we will continue to pursue our mandate. We have resolved, despite every obstacle, to continue 
and seek redress where we were expecting we will give them opportunity to give us a policy direction from the affects court. This will determine the future of this country. Secondly, I want to assure you we will immediately reform the election management framework of our party in order to be ready and equipped so that we will face the challenges ahead. We want to start immediately with the coming elections in Kogi Imo and Bayelsa. We therefore plead with all peace loving Nigerians, members of our political party and friends of this beautiful nation to stay calm. We feel your force in these trying times of our country. The difficulty that these policies have inflicted on the citizens of this country is not unnoticeable. And we know that with the hope that we will keep alive, we will surmount this. We understand the escalation hardship, the inhuman policies, and the government of the APC-led administration has exposed you to. We are not unmindful of that. Be hopeful. We strongly believe there is going to be the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you.